Hi, my name is Dr. Jesse Chai, and we're going to go over the seven things you need to do to keep your teeth healthy for a lifetime. Number one, brush at least twice a day, and that's a minimum. That doesn't mean two times, that's all the time, all you have to do. You, may, you might have to brush after meals if you had a really carby diet, uh, meal that day, but just make sure at least twice a day you do brush your teeth. Number two, floss at least once a day. Now, I know a lot of people do not like to floss, but there are other things you can do instead of flossing. So when I say floss a day, that means clean between your teeth. So you don't necessarily have to use floss. We prefer to use floss, but if you can't, there are other things such as proxy brushes, silica brushes, rubber tipping, and stimulants. Number three, make sure you brush your tongue. On your tongue, there's a lot of little grooves all over there. And that's where the bacteria like to go in. So we want to make sure that you do clean your tongue. So if you look at your tongue and it's coated yellow, that's not good. That means you got so much bacteria on there, you really need to clean that. So get all the gunk off your tongue, brush it at least once a day. Number four, make sure you use a very good antiseptic mouthwash. Whether it be Listerine or a prescription rinse like chlorhexidine, use something that is going to kill the germs around your mouth. Brushing will get the stuff off your teeth. Flossing will get the stuff off between your teeth. Brushing your tongue will get the stuff off your tongue. But what's getting the stuff off the roof of your mouth, your cheeks? under your tongue. That's the mouth rinse. Number five, minimize your sugar intake. That is just common sense. Bacteria eats the sugar, poops on your teeth, and that's what causes the cavities. It also causes the gum disease. Bacteria love sugar. Also, sugar is not good for your waistline, so minimize the sugar intake for healthy teeth and also a healthy you. Number six, make sure you come in at least twice a year to get your teeth cleaned. And that's if you have healthy teeth and gums. We want to make sure you get the plaque off your teeth because that's what's causing the disease. Now, if you have gum disease, that's a completely different story. Your gums bleed, you have bad breath. You need to come in at least four times a year to get that maintained. Number seven, fix the problems early. If we identify a small problem in your mouth, get it done early. We don't want that to progress into a big problem. Remember, when a cavity starts, it starts as a small cavity. It always starts as a small cavity. Then it progresses bigger. Then it gets a little bit bigger. Then you, all of a sudden, you, now you have tooth pain. You're going to need a root canal. That root canal eventually breaks. Then you're going to have to get that tooth out. Now you have no tooth. So you can see a cascading problem here. Fix the problems early and you won't get those problems. So that also goes with gum disease. So if you come in and you have bleeding gums, hey, the best time to treat that is what first, when you first identify it. Your gums bleed, hey, that's reversible. Gingivitis is reversible. If you start getting bone loss, that's irreversible. We can't grow the bone back. So identify the problems early. The minute you realize there's a problem, come on in. Give us a call. We'll get you in right away. At Bradford Family Dentistry, we believe that every one of our patients deserves to have a healthy smile and a healthy mouth. And how do we get there? Follow those seven steps we just talked about. You will have healthy teeth for a lifetime.